Hi there, it's Grace from Truly Vintage and I just wanted to put together a video to show you the collection of books that I recently purchased at the Lifeline Bookfest in Brisbane. Now, I thought that Lifeline Bookfests were something that happened all over Australia, but having talked to people in um, Victoria and that, they didn't know what I was talking about. So a Lifeline Bookfest, Lifeline being the... Um, organization that runs it which is similar to Salvation Army or um, St Vincent de Paul those sorts of places um, they hold a book fest in various um, well in Brisbane but also in regional towns around um, Queensland usually twice a year I think they hold the one in Brisbane and it is basically a book sale of I'd say tens of thousands of books it's an amazing, amazing place. I'll actually put some photos in the comments um, to show you just how many books are there. The book fest actually runs for a week and they restock the books. Um, most of the books, most of these ones that I'll be showing you today were all $2.50. And um, then they have another haul, like another section where they have ones that are a bit dearer and which are sort of like five dollars or you know you you very rarely pay any more than eight dollars yeah for their for their books um today was their last day <coughs> pardon me pardon me um the, yeah today was their last day in brisbane so actually there was a big special today all the two dollar fifty books were down to a dollar and all the individually priced books um were 50% off so I did very well not going back believe me I wanted to so I'll take you through this is just some of them so this is a little one that I picked up a year in the meadow basically a little diary and one of this one is I just love these images so that will make some beautiful little journal pages. Now most of these I'll be adding to my kits. So if you see something you like, um, feel free to send me a message on my Truly Vintage pay, uh, Facebook page. Um, and um, I'll see what I can do about adding some of these pages into a kit for you. So that's that one. This another one mind you when I went I should say um when you see the photos you'll understand this but they have rows and rows of uh different sections so like science fiction um you know, gardening arts and crafts and different sections like that I only looked in the hobbies um yeah the hobby section which sort of covered gardening and 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 um and i was there for like two and a half hours so <laughs> i went through so most of these ones are focused on gardening now this one doesn't it look gorgeous writing it sort of harks back to the to the edith holden book so a floral abc and this has some lovely sorry i get that back in camera this has some lovely images Here. beautiful now when you come across something like this and you think oh you know I want to use this and I want to use this but, but this is nice and you're stuck with that quandary of you know which side of the page do I use well this is the benefit of the book fest because if you're lucky you find two of them <laughs> which I did so I'll be able to use the front and back of these and pop them into some of my kits Gorgeous images. So it's those two. Now, this one here, a bush in bloom, a wildflower, wildflower artist year in painting and words. You can certainly see a pattern in what I like here, can't you? But that's what you, my customers, like, and that's the most uh, common request that I have. And some gorgeous images on this one as well. This book's a little bit larger than the previous books. With some lovely, lovely images there to use. That one there. Oh, it's a mystery one. What's this one? A sampler of wayside herbs. Okay. Let's 
So this one, once again, I love the, the colour. I don't know if you can really see that of this paper, but it's a very creamy colour. So it likes to really be coffee dyed. on that one as well and I think the last one of my gardening ones shrubs in color 269 plants superbly illustrated in color by Cynthia Newsom Taylor I can see lots of fussy cutting happening on some of these ones beautiful images even these um, images are nice to cut out mm, lovely colors oh, beautiful so, lovely images there now I didn't only get gardening books though definitely they were my um, most of sorry that I got I'll show you a couple of the others now they had a section where they had rare books and rare books are usually in the dearer section but um, these ones I think because they're a bit worn were in the $2.50 section so this one which looks like it's been recovered poetical works of John Greenleaf Whittier and it's a 1915 publication that's this one will be really good for using in my journals um, creating ephemeral with um, like little pockets and that width lovely font up here so, So that'll definitely be one that will be added in, as you can see. <laughs> Probably why it was in the cheaper section, but they're the sort of books I love. Because I do have scruples, I don't like pulling apart books that are collectible, sort of um, valuable ones. Okay, this one's something a bit different now. It's 1975. Um, I mean, it's. A little bit different, I suppose. It's a building act in Queensland. But I just liked the typing of it and how, like, the amendments have just been put in on little flaps. Just different sorts of um, pages in there. Sometimes you're looking for things that are not necessarily all flowers and butterflies. Standard Building Bylaws Order in Council. Okay. No, that was 1981, so it's obviously been popped in. And someone's gone to the trouble of striking these out and having the edits in there. So that was just something a bit different that caught my eye. This little one is the Methodist School Hymnal. And this one is dated 1946. Once again, beautiful, beautiful pages. I like having music on the small pages. Um, I do have quite a lot of vintage music sheets, but I find you've always got to cut them up. Whereas these ones are just the right size for a journal page. Heaps in there. It's been slotted in. That one there. It's another um, hymnal. This one's just called Church Praise. I had a bit of a look on this one to try and find a date, but 
couldn't find one, but I'd say certainly 1940s, I would think. Looking at the type of paper and the font that's been used. So once again, some lovely little music pages. Sorry, excuse the dog in the background. Okay, that one. A uh, few other little things I picked up. I grabbed this one. It's not vintage, but I thought it was cute. It's just a little calendar. And I was actually thinking I could cut these images out with the punch to use. But then I thought, actually, I like the, the whole page. So I might actually look at um, altering that and making it like having it still as the calendar but decorating it a bit but that stands up like so there's that one okay now this i had no idea what i was getting when i lifted no, up paper cut in china facial makeup of peking opera now this is definitely one for me to keep, not for me to cut up. Although, that being said, it's falling apart. But, I don't know if you can actually see the texture on the new um, pages. It's sort of like plastic, it's really, really thick. But what I love go to these pages is they actually have the facial makeup of, the, of characters which are depicted in the scene over here and that there I'm just going to do this gently is actually the paper cut isn't that amazing so all that so it's obviously covered in plastic for protection. Good. So each one of these, like tissue paper, paper cutting. As you can see, unfortunately, it is falling apart. I might have a go at trying to bind this together. This one I love. Oops. This down here, how delicate that is. So yeah, so I thought that was oops, a lovely find. Oh, that one's going to take a little bit of work to get back in. Okay, so that was something special. Another one. Um, and two books I bought, not for Tarrant, not for um, using in junk journals, but actually bought for the books to keep as whole. Well. This one, as I was walking around the book fest, one of my best friends, who is a high school science teacher, rang me. And so I was chatting to him as I'm walking around and I'm sort of, I was sort of going, oh, a 1947 Methodist hymnal, you know, I better get that. And he's like, what are you going to do with that? And like, anyway, then I found this one. And finding, I think, 19, so this one's a 1967 Certificate of Chemistry. So I asked him if he wanted it and he thought that it sounded interesting. So this one's heading up to Toowoomba. To my friend up there who teaches chemistry and you might find it quite an inter interesting read. The other one that I picked up as a keeper, Tibetan Journey by George Patterson. Someone's read it and obviously thought it was very good. <laughs> I love all things Tibetan. This one was issued in 1956. Um, I have yeah, I, I have a big interest in learning about Tibet and the Dalai Lama and that's so I actually found this book 
which I will be adding to my pile to read. Now, that was basically it as it came to books. They do have the massive stationery area, which I walked up and down, um, being very strict with myself and thinking, no, I don't need any stationery. But then I um, found this. Now, I'll zoom out a bit. Whoop. And yes, it is what it says on the envelope. 500 window faced envelopes. <laughs> so, so I like um, making you know, the journals that people make out of them. So I think I'll be coffee dyeing quite a few of these and adding them to my shop. Um, the whole box, $2. So I couldn't leave it behind. So yeah, so that was my haul from the book fest. A lot less than what I had bought previously. Uh, the total I spent this time was just below $40. Um, remembering that each book I bought was $250. Gives you an idea of how many. Uh, last year, my partner and I went and we, between the two of us, we spent uh, $250. And some of the books were in the dearer section, but like I said, none would have been over $8. Uh, Dave's, <coughs> pardon me, my partner's uh, science fiction mad, so he bought up heaps of science fiction books. And um, I did a fair bit of the damage myself as well. But I'm getting better. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for that. Hope you enjoyed seeing what I... Um, purchased. If you get a chance to get to a Lifeline book fest, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you need to travel to get there, take an extra suitcase because you'll definitely fill it when you're on your way home. Thank you from Truly Vintage. Remember, if you're interested in purchasing any of my um, packs of vintage paper, pop over to Truly Vintage Ephemera on Facebook and check out my shop. Thank you. Bye.